perform the long division of polynomials, 9x, 9 times x to the power of 4, minus 5 times x to the power of 2, plus 7 times x, plus 11, divided by x to the power of 2, minus 2. So 9x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 3 term is missing. So we just write 0x cube minus 5x squared plus 7x plus 11. The whole thing divided by x squared minus 2. What is the leading term of the dividend. It is 9x to the power of 4. And what is the leading term of the divisor, x squared? What is 9x to the power of 4 divided by x to the power of 2? 9x squared. So that's what we put here, 9x squared, 9x squared. What is 9x squared times x squared? What is 9x squared times x squared? 9x to the power of 4. What is 9x squared times negative 2? Negative 18x squared. Negative 18x squared. So we put parentheses around this and subtract that. Immediately you see that 9x4, 9x4, they cancel out. What is negative 5x squared minus negative 18x squared? It is negative 5x squared plus 18x squared. And what is negative 5 plus 18 plus 13? So this is 13x squared plus 7x plus 11. We don't have to bring 0x cubed down. 0 times anything is 0. So now what is the leading term? What is the leading term now? 13x squared. And what is the leading term of the divisor? x squared. So what is 13x squared divided by x squared? 13. So we say 9x squared plus 13. And what is 13 times x squared? 13x squared. And what is 13 times negative 2? Negative 26. Now, what do we get? Put parentheses around this and subtract it. And what do we get? 13x squared minus 13x squared is 0. We bring down 7. What is 11 minus negative 26? That will be 11 plus 26, and that will be positive 37. Why can't we go further? What is the degree of 7x plus 37? It is 1. What is the degree of x squared? It is 2. So perform division until the remainder is a zero polynomial or a polynomial whose degree is less than the degree of the divisor. Right now we have degree less than the degree of the divisor, so we stop. What is our dividend? 9x4 minus 5x squared plus 7x plus 11. What is our divisor? x squared minus 2. What is our quotient? 9x squared plus 13. And what is our remainder? 7x plus 37. Now let us check if our answer is correct. Quotient times divisor plus remainder is equal to dividend. What is quotient? 9x squared plus 13. What is the divisor? x squared minus 2. What is the remainder? 7x plus 37. So we do quotient times divisor and then add the remainder and see if it is the same as 9x to the power of 4 minus 5x squared plus 7x plus 11. So x squared minus 2 times 9x squared plus 13 is the same as x squared times 9x squared plus 13 plus negative 2 times 9x squared plus 13. And then we add the remainder. So what is x squared times 9x squared plus 13? x squared times 9x squared is 9x to the power of 4. What is x squared times 13? 13x squared. And then we have negative 2 times 9x squared, which is negative 18x squared. And what is negative 2 times positive 13? Negative 26. And then we have 7x 
and 37. Plus 37 plus 7x. And what do we get? 9x for 13 minus 18 is minus 5x squared. Negative 26 plus 37 is plus 11. We'll come to that later. We have 7x and then plus 11. So 9x to the power of 4, 9x to the power of 4. Minus 5x squared, minus 5x squared. Plus 7x, plus 7x. Plus 11, plus 11. So we are good. And this is George Matthews signing off. Good luck.